with movement of the precious monoclonals, we do keep track of who is delivering the medication. We have a nurse sign off upon delivery so that way we know the nurse received the medication and we know what time they received it. That way there is accountability for all of the steps of compounding and delivering of the monoclonal antibodies. For the screening process, mainly starts with the MP where the provider goes ahead and looks at the documentation that's in the computer, but then the nurses also check to make sure that the screening tool was completed properly and that the patient met the criteria. Some of the biggest challenges are especially when we started up with the unit and thinking things through for the workflow, having to make adjustments, and then also working with pharmacy and with the scheduling staff to make sure that the appropriate patients are being scheduled we have the appropriate amount of treatment time windows that we need for these patients. And then also that pharmacy, our communications to make sure that we get the drug on time and to also make sure what type of MOAB treatment we're doing for the day. We receive our products of amlinivimab and casimirib and devimab. We make sure when we are receiving it that we have both sister drugs for the casirubim in, and in indemimab. And we also make sure that we are keeping an inventory of all of the products that have come in so that way we can give a clear communication what products we have for each of them ordering. We utilize our EMR to track the stock. So we have that information there and we also have it on physical pieces of paper. The pharmacy will tell us which um, monoclonal antibody is available to be given that day. So we receive a call in the morning, we are told which um, agent is available and that's what we will give all day. We prepare our consent forms accordingly and we review the side effects of each treatment and the indication for the treatment and the contraindication, what to look for afterwards. It was really important that we had a system in place to put the casirubimab and devimab vials together. So we created a little bag and we labeled each vial to make sure that when the pharmacist went to get the medication in the refrigerator, they took both the casirubimab and devimab and had equal amounts because there were two different sizes of vials. So there's 11.1 ml and then there's the 2.5 ml. Both have the same concentrations. You just need to make sure your pharmacist knows which product they're working on and make sure you have, we had standard operating procedure documents for the pharmacist to uh, compound the products. So I would definitely say that if you are utilizing this product in a hospital setting, either your um, sending it to your emergency room or you have a therapeutic suite or you are entertaining it um, for inpatient administration it's really important that you have a control on the stock you have clear directions for your pharmacist on compounding and knowing safety concerns about the products the look alike sound alike and also the way they're packaged and in addition optimizing your ordering screens um, to make sure that you have safety mechanisms in place for those uh, those items i discussed I would say in the beginning, when you are making a process, if you do have concerns over the who can order it, who can't, best to start slow and then move into more people once everyone becomes more comfortable with the criteria and how it should and how it should go. But the the charge is we're giving you a medication. It has a very specific indication for use. You have to protect your drug. Don't waste it and make sure you give it safely and make sure giving it to the right people. So using technology, lots of education for pharmacy and for nursing and for the physicians who are using it in any of the settings is really key no matter where you're giving it.